Hello everybody and welcome back to the Artist Lightroom with me Anthony Epps. Today I have an image here that I'm going to show you how to give some punch to in a very short time using uh, what's it called the graduated filter here and the brush tool here which is um, M is the graduated filter and K is the adjustment brush okay I love doing shortcuts so if I don't use that um, it means I'm hitting a letter on my keyboard so let's begin I've got a shot here from Istanbul shot in the late afternoon it's in heavy shade it's got a blue cast to it my white balance is 5400 so it's not quite warm enough I could probably bring this up to 5600 make that a little bit warmer but what I want to show you is how to use brush tools to really make an image pop so first of all what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab this brush tool which is K on the keyboard and I'm gonna hit O on the keyboard to show you the mask now yeah? and I'm just gonna quickly brush this in I'm not gonna make excuses for being sloppy but there you go okay and here's a trick if you click and then you hold down shift and then you go somewhere else you can do this I'm just holding down shift and I can cover this whole area very quickly just by holding down the shift key yeah really simple and that's all done reduce my brush size I'll click here hold down shift and I got a nice straight line you'll see me do that a lot here so if it looks kind of funny it's because I'm using a shift key now I'll go to my eraser tool if I want to clean this up and bring down my feather and I'll click hold down shift a little less feather there a little smaller brush so I'll click there and click here and it's going away quickly let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing there click here hold down shift and there you go I'll actually increase the flow to 100 there click there we go and that was all shift click okay now I've got this <clears throat> go back to brush A take that in a little bit there okay so now that I have this covered I'll hit O turn it off I'm going to increase my clar my clarity because I want to get some detail there I'm going to put a little warm mask on it because I want this image to be a bit warmer than it was okay so not so intense there and I could see the color difference I could see where I missed the mask there I could clean that up actually I will clean that up because it doesn't look very impressive so I'm going to hit K again and go back to my brush tool then I'm going <clears> to <throat> sorry I was in the brush tool I'm going to select my brush dot here yeah I'm going to hit O so I can see what I'm doing and I'll just brush that in there a little bit there I should actually be using more of a feather now but that's all right there there we go and we'll get this there all right so hit O return to the normal normal view and you can see that the clarity there is bringing out a lot of texture in the stones okay that's good for now uh, what else do I want maybe increase the contrast here and bring up the shadows oh bring up the shadows there we go all right so that's the that's the stonework the the cobblestones there um, these side panels here I'm going to use well the side walls there not panels I'm going to use the the graduated filter tool I'm going to drag this hold down shift and drag it so shift again you get that nice straight line okay and if I hit O you can see that this is uh, a gradation right from red to, to clear but what I can do in my um, graduated filter tools I can grab the brush tool here you also see that it's a, 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 sorry let me do that again okay so I'm in I'm in, I go to the word brush here right not the brush tool but the word brush so I can go inside my mask here and fill it in make it a hundred percent 
would do, normally just paint this in with the brush tool, but I just want to show you that you can do this using um, the graduated filter tool just to just for effect. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say mm, actually I keep these the same. So I'm going to fill this in. This is really easy with the shift tool, like so. There, up here, there, there, like that. Really quick. Okay, now I'll hit O, turn off my masks, and I'll decide what I want to do here. I think I want to bring out a little bit of texture, and I'll leave the color the same. Yeah? And that looks pretty good. Um, so that's my graduated filter masks on the side walls, and my brush mask on the cobblestones. Okay? Now I could go here and affect these highlights a little bit. I keep saying I'm not going to do anything, but then I do. But don't we always do that? It's a very kind of organic process, and it's a lot of it's a lot of fun when you don't limit yourself through um, <clears throat> being too structural. Okay, I don't, I don't really have much um, structure when I do this. I go back modules. I'll you know I'll I'll, I'll put these masks here, and then I'll go to my HSL. And then I'll come back to my masks and I'll adjust. Um, right now what I want to do is I want to affect the sky. So I'm going to close my graduated filters here. And those are good. Now if I look here, my I've got shadows and highlights that the blues are very prominent. Okay, so that tells me if I go to my luminance here and I just drag the blue down, that's my sky. It's really quite dark, right? I don't have to do a mask for that. that. That's good. I'll just bring my sky down a little bit. And I'm looking at the red over here. I'd like to give that a little punch. So I'm going to go to saturation here and bring the red up. And I'll bring a little yellow in that also. That looks nice. And that looks pretty good. And so let's see what it looks like before. All right. So we have. We have um, a much punchier image than this original one. So let me let me continue a little bit. Go here, and I'm going to do a brush mask on this wall here, so I can manipulate this individually. Over. Let me hit O so I can see what I'm doing there. Now I've got settings in here. I've got it at minus 30. My point minus a third stop so I'm going to reset that and go and make it like this well, that wasn't very good there we go mask there there and here so my outline I'll just make my brush larger and paint that in there Lightroom seems to be working a bit slow today not sure why. Okay, so that's a pretty good little mask. There we go. And I'll hit O to turn that off. And now I have settings, once again, that only are going to be applied to this mask. Now, this, this stone wall, dilapidated wall, has a lot of texture I could bring out with my clarity, which looks pretty nice. Maybe make it a little bit more grungy but bringing the blacks in yeah that little black spot there starts to look really gross I don't like that there we go and the highlights I think it whites out a little bit and maybe decrease the contrast or increase it increase the contrast and then increase the exposure a little bit and I could toggle that on and off this is going to do all the masks, but I'm just looking at the wall right now. All right, <clears throat> that looks pretty cool. So, also we have this gentleman sitting here, and I'd like him to pop out a little bit more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say new, and this is going to give me a new, a new um, mask for just this gentleman here. Okay, so I hit O, and I'll start painting in. I do want to be fairly accurate with him. I don't want him to 
be affecting I don't want this mask to be affecting the background so I'll go down here up here I should have hooked up my um, tablet but I didn't have the inclination to do it until just now this is much easier with a pen than a than a mouse so here we go like so got a little splash over there on his tail coat but that's fine I'll get his feet I'm gonna have to do this really roughly because this this was this is something that would actually take me a few minutes other than the several seconds that I'm doing here. And I'm not gonna do his legs. I'll just go to the erase tool and take this out here. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good. Okay, so I'll turn off O. And what I want to do with him, I'll hit O to turn off the mask. What I want to do with him is I want to bring up his exposure a little bit maybe to like 0.4 yeah that's nice gives him a little bit of brightness there um, what else can I do with him a little bit more saturation to him there we go so let's see before and after with the, the dude here yeah just give him a bit of pop okay so let's let's close this and then let's look at him on before and after. So I will turn. Actually, I'll go to the preview here. And we'll look at him like this. When it eventually loads, come on. There we go. See? He's got a little bit more pop, a bit more color to him. All right. And that works really nice. Okay. So. I'm going to go over here and make this into a snapshot. And I'll just call it, I'll just use the date. There we go. So here is straight out of camera. Yeah. And here is my rough finished poppy image after just, how long has this been anyway? 10 minutes? After 10 minutes. Looks pretty good, huh? So um, I hope you liked it. I was I could go ahead and do some. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do some global adjustments now. Why not? Before I finish, I'm going to Istanbul tomorrow, and I really need to. I really need to uh, get my butt moving. So let's do some global uh, saturation. Let's let's bring the blue up a bit more. Yeah, that looks good. And some aqua. Complement it. Maybe make that a nice little wave there. It looks a bit deep that blue there, but it doesn't seem to be out of gamut, so that's that's okay. It'll look good. So here's my let me update my current snapshot. I right click and say update with the current settings, and there we go. So here's straight out of camera again, and here's what we did in just a few minutes. Now it's almost you know it has a lot more pop. It almost looks print ready. I've done a little bit of sharpening previously before I uh, started this video, um, but you know if I was going to go to print, I'd want to fine tune that. Um, I'd tweak the vibrates a little bit, maybe go into the tone curve and bring that down, the shadows down, and bring this up a little bit, make it a bit more contrasty, like so, and maybe bring this up a little less contrast there. Yeah, my masks weren't too great, but you know, sloppy YouTube stuff. There you go. I'll update this again, and I'll show you straight out of camera. And there we go. Well, um, thank you for watching. I um, I know this is a quick one. I'm gonna have another one uh, coming up soon. Soon as I get this, soon as I get some time to make some more videos. Thank you for your comments on my previous videos. I really enjoy doing these, um, and um, I'm good. I plan on doing a lot more. Alright, thank you very much.